Hi, good morning. Good morning, my friends. Good morning. My name is Kara Campbell, and I'm a Christian counselor. I target teens and young adults who struggle with suicidal thoughts and tendencies. And my goal is to help them to understand that if they were born, you, they, they were meant to be here. If you were born, you were meant to be here. Teens and young adults are struggling so much in their minds, you know, their identity, who they are. They don't know who they are. And I want to reach them to help them to understand that, who they are in Christ. Because I was where they are. I had that identity issue, didn't know who I was. So I'm here to talk to teens and young adults to help them to, you know, find, find themselves in God, to let them know that they were made by God for God. And I am also the author of this book here, Five reasons not to commit suicide five reasons not to commit suicide you can find this book on my this is the ebook this is an ebook you can find this book on my website carracampbell.org and you can purchase the book and i will send the book to you electronically don't forget to leave your email. Yes, yeah, so um, this book will help you to understand who you are in Christ. This book will help you to find your identity. This book will help you to learn that we all have problems. We all have issues. The devil will always fight us. The devil will always put obstacles in your way. The devil will always put negative thoughts in your mind. But you are able to overcome them. You are able to conquer them. You are able, you are able to live above those negative thoughts and feelings. Because it's not about our feelings. Feelings come and feelings go. So we have to understand that. So, um, this morning I want to talk to you a little bit about, um, I just want to, these things was just on my mind and I just want to talk about them, um, in St. Mark 16 and the 15 verse. And he said unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, preach the gospel to every creature. You know, I have been preaching for years and years and years. I have been preaching. I've been in this country going on 12 years. And I've been preaching in Jamaica. Before I, before I, 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 I came here. I preach in the marketplace. I preach on the byways and edges. I preach in church. I preach in the hospital. I preach everywhere. Schools. The airport, everywhere. On the buses, transportation, everywhere. And since, since I've been into this country here, it is not as easy. We, we don't have the freedom here to preach anywhere like we, we have back home. It's, it's really limited here. And I can tell you that um, for years... I've been here and I can count the amount of times, maybe, maybe four times, maybe four times I have had the opportunity to preach in, in somebody's church, on somebody's pulpit. And over the years, 
you know, you, you, you get discouraged. I don't know for some people, because I mean, some people might not get discouraged, but I do. I did. You know, because it's not so easy. You have to be, I remember writing letters, you know, seeking invitations to go to, to go to, to speak, to get a preach somewhere. But this morning, I want to just emphasize a little bit of the, you know, on the goodness of God. God is awesome. God is really awesome. And for about two years, I was talking to a friend of mine and we were, we were on the phone discussing, you know, life. And I was saying to her, I said, look, I remember back home, we, we, we can recite the scripture. We can recite the, um, the books of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, like a recitation. It just comes natural. We recite it. And I was saying to him, um, look, I, we have to just stop this thing. We have to stop it because I found myself in church. And when this, <coughs> excuse me, when the scripture was, was given, I was there spinning my, my, my Bible leaf, trying to find the scripture. And I could not find the scripture as easily as I, as I used to. Why? You know why is that? Because I have not been studying and reading my Bible consistently. So my friend laughed and said to me, um, Sister Campbell, you are the only person who would really come up and talk something like that. I said, yes, because I mean, I'm just real. It's just real. That might be happening to only me because I know some people out there, it, it don't happen to you. It happened to me. That happened to me, please. So I'm talking about me. So the brother said to me, um, you know, I'm having the same problem. No, I went to church and I could not find the scripture when the scripture was given. And I began to look for the page number. Now, in Jamaica, we don't use page, the page number to find the scripture. So when I came here, I realized that is a trend here that we, you know, they, they tell us the page number. So he said, I was looking for the page number to find the scripture. So then, uh, you know, we, we were there laughing at, uh, about it. But it is not really a laughing matter, but we can laugh after we can laugh after ourselves. Laugh at ourselves. So um I'm saying this to say that God is an awesome God. God is an awesome God. And when I realize that God has given us this medium where Facebook you know, I have some, I have some Christian friends who, uh, they, they resent Facebook with a passion because they pay attention to people who come on Facebook to, to idle and to talk, you know, whatever trash they want to talk. But I, I'm trying to tell them God is careful that his word go forth and God will make every opportunity for his word to go forth. And I am so happy for this medium, Facebook and all the other mediums, YouTube, all, all those, and, and, and Periscope, all of those mediums, God has made them available. So I am, I am glad. I don't have to wait for a year or two years to, 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 to preach on somebody's platform to preach on somebody's pulpit. I don't have to. I can preach every day if I want to. I can preach two times a day. I can preach three times a week. I can preach anytime God has given me a word because he has made the medium available. He has made the medium available. God says he wants his word. 
Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Now, I am here on this medium here, talking to you. My voice will go to places where my feet may never reach. And that's awesome. That's awesome. Because it's not about where you go. It's where the word go. It's where God sent his word. He sent his word. And this morning, I am so grateful to God for his awesomeness. And I just want to, I just want to invite my, my friends, my Christian friends, my, my, my evangelists and my pastors and, you know, my, my exhorters and, and, and everyone who has a word to give for the Lord Jesus Christ. God has made these mediums available so we can, we can speak. We can speak. You don't have to wait on, on somebody's pulpit. You don't have to be writing all these invitations and, 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 and asking for a preach. You can preach anytime you want to. And I just want to give God thanks this morning for these opportunities. God is good. And God make a way for his word to go forth. He, he made a way. He opened the doors for his word to go forth. This morning, may God bless and keep us while we, you know, see all the opportunities that's out there for us. Make use of it. Send the word out. Because you know what? In these times, in these times, the God make these opportunities available so that all the preachers and the evangelists and the bishops and everybody, the word of God is going to be so much. The word of God is going to be, is going to flood this world. The gospel is going to flood this world that man will not have an excuse. Man cannot say, I didn't hear the word. He cannot say God didn't send the preacher. He cannot say God didn't send the prophet. He cannot say I didn't hear. I didn't, I didn't know about it. Because God has made the way for the gospel to flood this world. And it is going to happen. It is going to happen. Because God would not anoint all these preachers and evangelists, you know, and, 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 and have us to sit down and, 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 and dry up. He make a way. He make ways, different ways, different opportunities. So we can send the word. We can preach his word. We can talk to people. We can, we can tell people about his wonderful grace and salvation. God bless you this morning. And stay tuned. Because I will be on as often as I can. Praise be to God. For the wondrous works that he has done. And we give him all the praise. We give him all the honor. And we give him all the glory. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye bye.